Hello, this is Golden from Old Marshall, and you're listening to What's Metal. For not all of our listeners are into the history of Old Man's Child. Started in 93, uh, did our first recording in uh, 94, in the Shades of Life, a mini city. And in uh, 95, we uh, recorded Born of the Flickering, our uh, first debut. Uh, was released through Hot Records. Um, yeah, in late 95, we uh, said goodbye to Hot Records, we signed with uh, Central Media. And uh, now we have recorded The Pagan Prosperity, which is out now, yeah, I guess. I know that you have been uh, asked this question uh, quite often, but um, Old Man Child is a very unusual band name for a black metal band, I think, and perhaps you can <laughs> repeat this answer once again. Uh, it means Sons of Satan, because uh, that's exactly what we are. So, And I also like to have an original name for an original band, so yeah. it su suits us perfectly. Yeah. If you think of your musical style, how would you describe this one uh, to a person who doesn't know any musical efforts of Old Man Child? Uh, this one is a little different to Bone of the Flickering. It's more heavy metal guitar riffs, more trash metal. And I also want to experiment a little on this album. So there's a lot of different styles, such as heavy and trash and black. But we're still a true black metal band, though. Yeah. yeah. Are there any differences in the... Um, sound qualities when you comp uh, compare all your releases? Yeah, this one is uh, recorded in Sweden, Gothenburg. Uh, it's a more professional studio, uh, used uh, more money. Born of the Flickering was only recorded in five days, so is isn't very good sound on it and stuff, but uh, yeah, I like the sound on this one though. Yeah. And uh, how did you get this uh, contract with Century Media Records? Uh, they called us and asked us if, if uh, we were interested, so I really don't know, but uh, I think they got a deal with Hot Records and then decided to sign us for six records. Six? Oh, yeah. that's cool. Um, do you think that uh, after six records, uh, Old Man Child will still exist? I hope so. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I will definitely play music, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, several members of Dimmu Borgia once played in Old Man's Child, and what do you think of their commercial success nowadays? Yeah, I think it's great, you know, they're, they're my best friends, I've known them all, uh, all my life, so it's really cool, but uh, yeah, it's not much to say. On the uh, Century Media info sheet on your new record, I could read that the, all the old members left before the new recording. What happened there, and, and why uh, did the old members have to leave? Uh, Shodol had to leave because of Timbergy. And uh, there were some problems with Nuclear Blast and Dimmel so I had to leave. But uh, on, on the Pagan Prosperity, I use session musicians on drums and on bass. And uh, the members I have with me now are also session musicians, so I change the musicians all the time. But that's the way I like it, so it doesn't bother me. For the new record, I saw a cool uh, promotion uh, photography of Century Media that uh, shows you with uh, a lot of. Uh, make up blood and uh, armor and so on. Um, what can we expect of tonight's uh, stage show? Uh, not any blood, not any makeup, because uh, if we had uh, done makeup every day, we would use three hours, you know, to just put it on mm -hmm. and we play every day, so we just skip the makeup and stuff. But uh, of course, we will be totally crazy on stage. <laughs> yeah. If uh, money would not be a problem, how would the um, perfect old man's child stage show look like? Uh, I don't know, pretty messy, I guess. Um, a lot of special effects with lights and uh, lasers and stuff, I guess. If you are the only member of Old Man Child who was uh, responsible for the songwriting, what is the typical songwriting process and where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, I think the inspiration is basically from myself, you know. Uh, uh, I don't listen to a lot of music, I just play whatever I feel like playing, but uh, I always make the music first. Uh, I use about four months on the music and then I always have, uh, write the lyrics last like four weeks on the older lyrics. So the lyrics are basically simple and easy. So it's the music, it's the main thing in all Mancha. And uh, how much life experiences do you have today? How often have you played live? And uh, this is our first tour, and we only did one show before in Oslo. Uh, so this is pretty new to us, but it's it's cool. It's cool guys, you know, and it's also very well organized. So it's yeah, cool tour. And uh, how long is this tour going? Uh, we played ten shows, I think. Ten shows. We're going to play twenty shows.
So, yeah, that's about it. And all over Europe. You have been in different countries uh, until now on yeah. this tour, yeah? And if you compare this, um, the fans in these uh, different countries, are there any differences? Uh, not much. I think England was the best place in the garage in London. Uh, yesterday we played in Berlin and it totally sucked. <laughs> no, just but uh, uh, there was uh, a lot of other concerts that uh, uh, Voivod and uh, Therion and stuff, so it wasn't a lot of people. But uh, I guess that's the reason. Mm. And we also played first yesterday, so that always sucks. <laughs> <laughs> What does the word, word uh, heavy metal mean for your life? Uh, heavy metal is everything to me. You know, it's, I grew up with heavy metal. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's where I get all my inspiration and stuff, you know, from when I was young I always listened to heavy metal, so I guess a lot of it is coming out today in my music and stuff, so, yeah, yeah. heavy metal is cool. <laughs> okay, um, it seems to be a typical Scandinavian uh, syndrome to have uh, several side projects. Do you have mm -hmm. some? Oh no, I don't have time to do anything else, you know, all my child takes all my time, so, but uh, the other guys are playing in different bands, so.